All right, y'all. It is 7.44 on November 3rd. And we're sub 30 miles, baby. Last day on trail. Whew. Um, didn't get you packing up the last camp because even right now my hands are nice and cold. It's biting cold. Um, frost everywhere. It's, uh, it's a rough go of it, but whew, that's the last time we got to do that for a while. Um, the sunrise is a starting a little bit. And we're walking. We're walking. We've been walking more than a little bit, I'd say. Just a tad. I'll just say we've been walking for a tad, tad amount of time. November 3rd, y'all. Last day. Last day from where we're at now. From where we camped, really, sub 30 miles. Just barely, though. Um, we're really now getting into the meat of it. I'd say even 29 miles. Let's go. Oh, can't feel my extremities. Whew. Y'all think we're on a migration path or, path or something? That's all birds. Whew. All right. There y'all go. Lakes are starting to freeze out on these plains. They're starting. Um, granted, that's a baby lake, but the temps at night is dropping into the 20s and teens enough that the freeze has begun. Whew. Let's try to beat it. I wonder if Magpie has heard good morning yet. Yeah. Have, have I told you good morning yet? Yeah, you did. I told you good morning? Yeah, you did. But did I tell you it like this? Good morning, baby. Huh? No, no, you didn't. No, I didn't tell you good morning like this. Huh? No. Guess what? It's the last Mickey Mouse day on trail, huh? Mm -hmm. Guess what? what? Mickey Mouse, we don't know if he's a pure trail entity or he's an off-trail entity as well, huh? No, he's an on-trail entity. Let's just get that straight right after that. <laughs> You're saying you don't want to bring Mickey Mouse off-trail with us, huh? No, he's a bad animal. He belongs in the wild. You're saying the mouse belongs in the wild, huh? It's going to be winter time soon, baby. And we need to we need to cuddle the mouse, haha, -ha, make him warm, haha. -ha. Okay, baby. Oh, so Magpie just reminded me. I'm glad she did. I might have uh, let this piece of the hike go down into uh, the recesses of the mine, but um, two struggle bus things happened within. The last night on trail and then the last morning on trail. So last night, our fuel died. Um, it was able to get the water, like, uh, bath water, not even. It was, like, it was mostly cold. Um, so I thought, because I couldn't really see it, that it would be good in ramen. I was so looking forward to creamy chicken ramen, my favorite dinner on trail. And then um, creamy chicken ramen is a difference. And then it was a struggle bus eating that. That was unfortunate. And then this morning, it really, really tested my batting average, y'all. You guys think we were in the clear. You're like, oh, he has one more day on trail. Definitely not gonna um, break that hundo percent. Y'all, it got, it got real close. Since like 2 a.m until 6 a.m. Some of the squeakers I was letting out, they were getting, hovering right upon that brink of breaking the batting average. And I had to, if I didn't want to, if I wanted to keep my perfect score, I had to run out of the tent at 6 a.m. and in the freezing cold and dark, do the morning business. 
Um, that was a interesting last morning on trail. But I'll be, I'll be darned if I don't keep that batting on 100%. Really beautiful trail. I thought those two pieces of information were fun. How the trail just always gives you a little ump in different ways. Hey there. Hold there. Want a doll on it? Mm, not really. Hey there. Hold there. Want a terminus? Yes. Yes, I do. So magpies are pooping. So I'm just sitting here keeping keeping my bat and average high as well. But um, I'm sorry, she's keeping her bat and average high. But what I started filming for was because, again, you're not gonna be able to make it out as much. But there are so many birds in this lake that you just hear a chorus of them constantly. It's so cool. It's not on the bolt underneath. Yeah. There you go, baby. Haha. -ha. All right. A little bit of road walk until that board over there, I think, where the trail continues. Ice, ice, baby. -na 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 -na. Yeah. Ice, ice, baby. That entire lake's frozen, pretty much. Besides the tail end of the blue over there, the rest of it completely frozen. That's upsetting. Went to take a drink of my juice. And it's completely frozen. That is upsetting. Alright, whichever. Last day. Ain't nothing bringing this train down, baby. You ready for this, y'all? I think this is the first kind of good view. I'm gonna be getting y'all of Lake Saka Kauai. Um, pla plam! Pla plam. So, funny enough, the guy uh, has you walking around the edge of it, but the events of maps that Magpie has have us walking on this and it actually is the NCT marked trail. So it's interesting. It's interesting the discrepancies of the ground um, when you're walking and following the blazes and sometimes the guy line we had. But we're trail stepping. We are trail stepping. Beautiful. 22 and a half miles left. All right, so it's pretty early. It's like 10.20, but um, I didn't know if we were gonna start cutting away from the lake shortly. So our last lunch comes to you via Lake Saka Kauai. Um, pretty much a beach lunch. I don't know, I'm gonna try to eat. I'm gonna see if I can. The sandwich I have literally has icicles on it. Like, if you look, it literally has ice on it so there's the ice right there i'll try to eat it but don't know if i can oh well my sandwich it's 
Okay. Last lunch. Uh huh. Last lunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, this would have been a nice lunch spot. Um, the trail kind of just connects you into like a paved path. I think that's the visitor center and we do kind of a loop around to get there. Um, so we're gonna keep on cruising, but this, oh, I almost, I lisp because I bit my tongue. Um, a lisp and a t bite, a bite and a lisp. Or a lisp and a bite bite, a bite bite and a lisp lisp. Um, I could keep going off that. Magpie, what other kind of combination should I make? I don't know. I don't know either. What I'm trying to say is this is the beginning of kind of our road walk for the next mm, 17, 18 miles. Um, I think it's just like two track dirt roads. Um, yeah, but my tongue threw my head out of whack and I couldn't finish the thought. Oh well. All right, we're going places. Oops, I'm sorry y'all, um, I forgot to film it. You walk right by the back end of that entrance to the nature center. So if you're hankering for water, I'm assuming if you walk in there, you can get it. Um, it's even open in November. So yeah, forgot to film it, but you literally walk right by the back of it. There's a picnic table. It's a full visitor center. Um, it has visitor center things. Excuse me? Yeah, it has. If you've been to one visitor center, you've not necessarily been to all of them. Every visitor center is a visitor center, but not every visitor center is a visitor center. Um, it's like the square and rectangle conundrum. I know. Every visitor center is a VC, but not every VC is a visitor center. Every visitor center has a bathroom, but not every bathroom has a visitor center. <laughs> That's better. Every water fountain, every visitor center has a water fountain, but not every water fountain has a visitor center. Yeah, that's also in the falls. All right, yeah, what I'm trying to say is if you got hankerings for things, it's there. I don't think food, though. So, sub 20 miles, baby! Mm -hmm. Woo! And we're about to get onto the road part of our day. And we're about to start the road junction for the next remainder of the day until, like, the last two, three miles, somewhere in there. Um, wow. So, sub 20. It's uh, before noon. We're going to be hitting that T, uh, TB, baby, um, TCBY. We're going to be hitting that TCBY about... You, you do or don't? Oh. Yeah, but, t but baby, TCBY has all the little treats you can put on top. And it's like, if you want the, if you want the like, swirled custard, you can have the swirled custard. I, I think they've expanded their flavor port profile i think they've shut down more stores y'all know i know a lot about tcby y'all for some reason yeah. because there was one in our local airport for the longest time and then when it shut down i was upset it shut down and googled why tcby shut down oh. um yeah tcby is a yoga store sub 20 miles to the t baby terminus let's not go into the tcby theories anymore um let's get it so now we begin a square of walking. Um, nothing new for us though. The NCT likes to do their squares slash circles. It's an old oven in case you want to pack it out. Um, yeah, you do like a three mile square that way. Well, I guess you can't see it. That way, that way, and then that way. Or you could just go that way. Um, but I think that's private land or something so it makes sense why they put you in a square like the trails maybe half a mile as the crow flies to my right but three miles as the hiker walks so that is also the mct in a nutshell for you <laughs> all the way to the end it gives us little fun fun things north Dakota. don't miss this um Again, it's always a gilded mind when you know the end is near, but these plains, North Dakota plains really are beautiful. I can't pan yet in front of me because Magpie was here. And, and, 
and I can pan. Um, so yeah, it is one o'clock and we have right within the ballpark of 15 miles, um, five hours of hiking left. So that's something, um, that's something. These plains really are beautiful. And again, it's gilded, a gilded mindset when you know you're coming to the completion of a hike, especially a through hike of this length. But I even think outside of the completion, these plains are very pretty. Um, yeah, so much stuff going on. Five hours, folks. Five hours of hiking. Five hours left to hiking out of however many hours of hiking is spent over the span of, I mean, eight months, nine months. Um, I started hiking this year February 1st. Today is November 3rd, so nine months. But out of those nine months, I think eight months were spent hiking. Um, and out of those eight months, I think seven were spent um, without rest days, travel days, all that stuff. I don't know. I'm going to do a stat video at the end. Um, I'm really curious to see what those stats are as well. So, uh, five hours. That's uh, it's nuts. It's nuts to think about. Hard to comprehend. All right. I'm going to keep on stepping. First time I've ever taken off my puppy in like a week and a half. Dance, 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 dance. You're right. Rave music should be more. I don't know how to do Mickey Mouse rave music. Disney's gonna sue you. Oh my god, that's annoying. Oh. That's why they don't have Mickey Mouse rave music. Yeah. Nobody ever created that album. There's a reason. Remix. I love how you just said, oh my God, that's annoying, and then did it more. I remixed it. Good job. I'm proud of you. The remix is less annoying. You're so creative. Yeah. All right, it is two o'clock. It's actually warm out. Magpie took off some things. Um, oh and we're like 12 miles away, baby. Yep. Woo! <gasps> One more. <laughs> One more what? Oh, okay. I haven't done that in a while. It's been too cold. Life is a full circle of happiness, isn't it? As one Vosh begins, another ends. We have some last day Voshes that uh, are blessing us with their presence. Is life just one big Vosh? I would like to think so. I'd really like to think so. Is the stuff after life, the big questions, also one big Vosh? I would also like to believe so. <sighs> Cows on the last day. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. One big circle. We're one big cow. Life is just one cow. We keep simplifying it and distilling the, the essence of life deeper and deeper until once you distill it far enough, you just realize life is one big cow. Um, you walk in some fields some days. You get shocked by electric fences other days. Um, sometimes you bat 100%. Sometimes you're pushing that bat an average uh, daily. Sometimes you drink some questionable water. Um, sometimes you eat some grass. Um, there's been many a day. That's been, uh, well, I guess we didn't eat grass on this trail. That's the only comparison I can't get down with. Sometimes you eat questionable things. We've done that on this trail. Um, yeah, I think we found the meaning of life. Magpie! We found the meaning of life on the last day. Huh? Yeah. 
I guess. Life is one big cow, baby. I think we found the meaning of life. How do we stumble upon that? Or how do we hoof our way into it? I don't know. Or how do we... Oh, that's, that's nasty. We, we don't want to see that, cows. That's not something we want to see on the last day. What, no, the ones in the very far back. Oh, it just got off. This is a PG channel, cows. But also like cows, essence of life. <laughs> that's the pure, pure uh, natural geographic essence of life. I don't know if I caught it on camera, but that is the national geographic version of creation of life. I guess it's not essence of life. Um, yeah, the circle of life. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, you didn't get You guys didn't think we were gonna. I didn't think there was gonna be an epiphany on this trail. Um, Ew. Yeah. That's disgusting. Well, hey, you uh, want to taste your own medicine? Oh, cringy. Um, yeah, you don't think on these trails you'll get an epiphany, and I never really thought we would, but I guess near the end we found life is just a cow. Who's the cow? You gotta answer that yourself. We already did the answering. We already answered the big question. Yeah. This just feels like absolute middle of nowhere. Even though in 10 miles or so, we'll be at the ter Termini. The Terminis. The TCBY, baby. Aww. All right, look for the tree. You'll know which tree. Look for the one tree. That tree, as Magpie has told me, signifies right on the cusp of single digit miles, babe. Bee. And 10 miles, right here. 10 miles right here. So technically, as we step and talk, it is 9.99. That is single digit miles. That is quite the feeling. 4,800 plus miles later, huh? Uh, makes you kind of want to kind of want to go up here and then a little down here. And kind of makes you want to scurry around like a mouse and step off like a mouse. And bring the mouse into the real life, maybe, huh? No, no. Mickey Mouse is forbidden in my house. Uh-huh. Mice stay outside. Bring the mouse into real life, huh? The mice, the mice don't belong in my house. Bring mouse into... I'm actual mice out of my house. I know you have, huh? But this one has a voice and a laugh, huh? Maybe in the garage. I don't want to just be doing Mickey Mouse in the garage, huh? That's going to be super weird with the tenants, huh? They also have a kid, and their kid would probably cry all the time, huh? I mean, I think she'd probably find that pretty delightful. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But the tenants would not be happy, huh? Yeah, if their kids are doing Mickey Mouse voice, I don't think they'd be pleased. Who do you work for, DreamWorks, huh? Uh-huh. Ooh, my throat hurts. All right, as you heard there, Magpie wants the mouse to come with us to Off Trail. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Single digits, baby. Single digits. It's... What even is off trail? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what off trail means anymore. I don't quite know either. It is 2.30. Look, getting closer to 2.40. We're going to get to that terminal. It looks around 6 o'clock. Perfect. And it's going to be circular. Oh. Guess what? We're 7.9. Oh, ho. So it says this is supposed to be a road. Um, it's a semblance of a road. It used to be a road. It used to be a road. But the trail kind of just peters off until this little thing that is a, few, a mile or so before Riverdale. So if you think all of a sudden the trail just turns into single track when it's supposed to be a road, you're on the right thing. Surprising no markers. All right, it might not give me a weight limit for the last day. Might not be that nice, but I'll work with what I can. A load restriction. Um, oh, there's actually weights on there. 15,000 pounds. Baby, 15,000 pounds. Baby, there's a weight limit. Okay, I don't know. 
I see cracks in the ground. Uh, it's nice that they gave me one of those for the last day of trail. That's very pleasant. Um, we now got onto a paved road that kind of curves around the town of Riverdale, um, which has things if you need it. Um, it's a small North Dakota town that I think it has a spot you can stay. Um, probably a corner store, stuff along those lines. But we're just pushing to the end, baby. I think we're sub seven, seven miles, 3.30. Let's go. be right unless we pass by a disc golf course. Would not feel right. Hit those chains, baby. Hit those chains. I don't know if this lodge is open or not. It might be. Um, it's on the outside of Riverdale. Riverdale, just walk through it there. Um, so look into it if your miles link up. This would be more so if you were going um, eastbound because if you're just pushing to the end, I don't know why you would stay here. But again, it's your miles. It's how they link up. We're like within five miles, y'all. Maybe a little more. Wow. Doesn't feel real. Nothing to do but keep stepping. Very beautiful day use area with a privy benches and epic views of the lake about a mile outside of Riverdale um, and this for us should also mean about four miles maybe slightly over to the terminus um, like I said I'm gonna try to bring you along through the motions as much as possible um, something that's very curious to me is um, this is I think the first trail I've ever felt this as the terminus nears um, I actually feel nauseous um, and it's not, it's not bad water or anything like that. Um, I think it's nerves. Honestly, I think it's nerves. Um, this terminus is kind of a very pivotal point and kind of, um, transformational point in life. Like, I don't, I don't see living our lives any differently, but in the terms of like, loving adventure and loving through hiking and that type of context but it's a it's a turning point for at least um a massive mon uh, monumental goal um all 11 national scenic trails in six years plus other trails in there that yeah just lived and breathed this um i don't think i've ever felt nausea and um best term for it is nervousness um along with excitement, along with happiness, along with relief. Um, yeah, sadness. Um, sadness has always been in the background of finishing trails, but the nervousness and the nausea is something new. Um, the closest I can compare to it, you know how I was talking, well, joking about the cows and uh, full circle a few clips ago? Um, closest I can compare to is the first hike ever did um the at hike um through hike back in 16 um as we were getting close to that and in that terminus i don't know if it was nervousness um finishing that trail but that also felt like it set me on a trajectory well to this um it felt very pivotal and kind of life-changing um so well definitely life-changing so yeah there's a lot of emotions um I'm gonna try to bring you through them as I go through them. Um, kind of 
<laughs> it's kind of uh, the UPS driver said hi. Um, it's kind of an impossible task, but we're gonna try it nonetheless. Um, too many to count, but yeah, I thought that one was unique. Um, tasted different. Belly felt different. Sorry for how long this video, this end video is gonna be, but there's a lot of stuff going on. All right, let's step them out. Four miles, a little over an hour. Gonna get there, I don't know. I probably said about four. Gonna get there about 5.40, 5.50. Perfect timing. All right, sorry for the droning on and on. I'm gonna try to make this quick. I just wanted to expand on what I just said. Um, it's not bad nerves. Um, I didn't want that context to get skewed anywhere. It's not like it's bad nervousness or nausea in the stomach. Um, it's good nerves. Um, it's excitement for what's to come and it's uh, happiness for the growth of where we're gonna go from here. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, but it is different. It is different feeling that. Um, so I wanted to put that context in there that, yeah, there's nervousness. Um, the taste is different, but doesn't mean it's bad. Doesn't mean it's bad. That. I almost walked by it. Magpie pointed out an NCT marker. Um, I think we walked this and then cut into the trail coming up right here. The last two miles of this third hike. Last road walk. Last walk. About to hit single track. Um, it's five o'clock, so we should be finishing a little after 5:40. So. Whew. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not real. Reality is a suggestion. It feels, I don't know, conflicting feelings. Some of the last folks been following that little rectangle on a tree for six months. Six months. Some of the last ones. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Marika Inc. A plus 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 North Country Trail. Privy in the last mile. Privy in the last mile. That is something that you don't see on any other trail. Um, that is that is good work. That is A plus work. Sadly, I don't need to do it. I already had my cow patty for the day. Um, yeah, we're. Maybe not last mile, but like 1.2, 1.3. Really Very close. Whew. Really nice that the trail's a little wider. Being able to walk together on the end of it is really sweet. Yeah. Finishing the trail as we started. Together. together. Oh baby, let's get it. Log for one last trail piece soon. Nice. One last log piece. Nice. All right, it is 521. Last mile, baby. And Magpie said we just broke the mile mark. Yeah. Last mile out of 4,800, and I think the tally is going to be 34 or something. I have to add it up at the end, but the trail, longer than advertised. Yep. Um, also, tested mentally more than advertised. Yeah, they also like... don't advertise that though. No. Nope. But what were you gonna say? Uh, we were just talking about how if we twisted our ankles, we would still crawl to the terminus at this point. Oh yeah. So we, both of us had that thought of like, if I broke an ankle right now, would I still finish? Yeah. We would. Yeah. So I was. Magpie says she has this feeling every trail. Again, this is the first trail I've had this feeling. Like the last, when we hit the ten mile mark, I started having like the irrational fear of like, what happens if I just step on a rock wrong? and twist my ankle really bad or like break something like a fluke incident 
and I'm like, oh, it would take me all day to crawl, but I would still get it done. But now, a mile we could crawl within and still not, yeah, and still finish tonight though. So that was fun. Oh, a lot of feelings, folks, a lot of feelings. Yeah. So this sign says North Country Trailhead and it is a trailhead, but it's also the trailhead. Um, it's our final trailhead. That is awesome. About half a mile, a little bit over. Constantine just made me cry by playing a sad song on his phone. Oh, but it was a sad, it's sweet a sad, song. It's a happy song, but yeah. It's um called, I think oh. it's Lost Boy or Neverland? Yeah, it's called Lost Boy by Ruth something. So if you guys have ever listened to that song, it's uh. It'll make you cry no matter what. Yeah. It really will make you cry. Yeah. At the end of a trail. It will make you cry no matter what. It is a very sad, happy song. North Country Trail, baby. Yeah, here we go. This way. Yeah. Cool, baby. Terminus. I'm pretty sure that's it because I've seen Terminus photos that I think that's it, y'all. Oh my god. It's 5.30 and I think we can see the Terminus. Oh, baby's still emotional. Still <laughs> oh. Why am I crying? It's a lot. It's a lot of emotions <laughs> going through. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get you when we get there. Spend a little more time together before uh, I turn the camera on and show you us finishing. All right, we can see the front of it, folks. We can see the front of it. We're really done. It is right there. We're really almost done. Um, you can see the trekking poles are pointing to it. It's over yonder. We're going to go touch that sign. We're going to go touch that sign. What a trail. <laughs> oh my god. This is the trail out of every trail I've ever done. And I'm assuming Magpie's ever done. That the most... We knew we were going to finish it. But... That doesn't, that doesn't matter. There's still, you don't know until you get there. yeah, you don't know until you get there. And as we're walking, we're seeing, and we're going to end it as we do every trail together. 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 So we're going to touch that sign we did and, it. and call it. We did it. <laughs> oh my God. What a trail. Six months, seven days. I don't know. It's November 3rd, started May 1st, and that's the Western Terminus, baby. <laughs> Let me drop my trekking poles before we touch the sign. Okay. Oh, what time is it? 5.38 and 16 seconds. 5.38 and 16 seconds. You ready to touch together? How we do? We do let's put the, yeah. Ready, set. We're done. <laughs> We're done. 538, 30 seconds. I'm gonna zoom in. Um, there we go. Can I give you this to turn the tracker off one final time? Yep. Oh, 28. That lost two miles. We lost did two miles exactly. on the zig zigzaggies. This is the last time. Oh, I wanted to show you all this. Um, the tracker says we did 4,711 total. Um, it's going to be closer to 4,830 um, because of the wiggle waggles and the track are not being super accurate on the wagon and the wagon. So I think the entire trail is 4,830. We're going to double check that once we do the math. But All right, turn that baby off. Let's turn it off one final time. I don't have a ping attached to me anymore. I don't have a Stop ping. Stop tracking. Stop tracking. Pack off against the sign. We You're did done. it. We did it. We're done. Pack off, baby. Pack off. Pack off. Oh, okay, y'all. Okay, that... I don't even know how to talk about it. <laughs> Come here and give me a kiss, then. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A kiss, you say? Mm. PG-13. We did it. It just escalated. <laughs> we did it. It was PG. The entire trail was PG. I doubt that. Every video was PG. Uh uh. Every single one. No PG 13 videos in there. We did it. Mm hmm. Oh. 
<laughs> we did it. <sighs> picture time. We are about to do a full batch of picture pictures. Um, I honestly, Magpie, I, I know she's not one big for the camera, but I got a lot of stuff to say and a lot of feelings to do. It was um, worth it. Yeah, it's honestly, couldn't imagine of doing it without another person than Magpie. Like, one badass person, badass hiker, badass partner. I would have quit without you. I would have quit without you, too. This trail... To be fair, I wouldn't have started it without you. <laughs> <laughs> Flaming me. Um, yeah, this is all your fault. Yeah. I love you. You're a badass partner, too, though. We're, we're pretty tough. We're pretty tough together. When we, when we combine powers, we are tough together. It is six years. Never, ever, ever would have assumed this sign would be something I would even want to reach. Um, AT, done. Appalachian Trail. Pacific Crest Trail, done. Continental Divide Trail, done. Pacific Northwest Trail, where I met the baby. Yes. <laughs> done. Ice Age Trail, done. Arizona Trail, done. What's the next National Scenic Trail? Natchez. Natchez Trail, done. New England? New Florida Trail. Florida Trail. Done. Potomac Heritage Trail. Done. New England Trail. Done. And the North Country National Scenic Trail. Done. All 11 National Scenic Trails. Out of fingers. Yeah, you don't have 11 digits. I'm sorry, baby. No. Um, all 11 National Scenic Trails by the age of 27 hiked through hiked. Um, making Magpie the first woman to through hike the North Country Trail. And... I think I'm the first person to through hike all 11, baby. Good job. Good job yourself. Yeah. She really wants me to stop filming. I can tell so no, we can start taking pictures. Um, I might just stop this clip and pick up after we've taken a few photos when more emotions keep rolling through. My mom and dad are also over there, and I know they want to come give us hugs. <laughs> Shout okay. Out to mom and dad. Shout out Mama and Papa Cheetah. So, um, yeah. Let's take some photos, Let's baby. Let's take some photos. Let's eat some food. Yeah. Let's not sleep in the cold. Let's not sleep in the cold. <laughs> Let's wear real people clothes made out of cotton and shit. I don't know what that is. I know, me neither. Aw. You're going to do what? We're going to buy a full-size bottle of shampoo. <laughs> oh, you call... How? You can't pack that out. Fancy. Fancy. There you go. Uh, you might get a better view here. Oh, I'm going to walk in and do a zoom in real quick. Okay, okay. All right. Proof of life that the spam... spam has made it 4,800 miles. It has melted and reformed in Ohio. It's like and frozen now. Now it's frozen in North Dakota. Patrick also made it. I tried to have Magpie carry the rock, but she doesn't carry rocks because she's smarter than me. <laughs> so Patrick also made it. A little worse for the wear. He made it. Or she. I don't know Patrick's gender. Starfish. Um, so starfish. None. Patrick made it 7,000 miles. Sadly, the spam wasn't a 7,000er, but proof of life. And now we will sit back. We're going to get a little farther away from Magpie so when she eats the Spam, we don't get hit by the nasty, nasty. I'm not going to eat the Spam. Okay. That's not happening. Okay. No way. I've seen what this thing went through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to give you a buffer zone for when the Spam got came back up another way. It's, no, it's going back in your pocket. Okay. Baby's just a waterworks over here. <laughs> oh, it's your fault. <laughs> Oh, it is very feeling a lot. Um, I want to sit here all night, but we got places to go. Um, it's a lot. It's. I honestly don't know how to how to process it. Um, no words of wisdom. Nothing much. Um, we walked. We pushed. This trail was by far the hardest. Yeah trail either one of us finish. have ever done um at least life not as life-threatening as some but definitely no. the hardest i had i mean i had for the past two weeks just fun and like good phrases that i wanted to say once i got here and they're just gone life's a life's a cow it's i don't know i had so many good phrases but they're just poof life's a giant cow you're the cow. The world's the cow. The trail's the cow. Moo. <laughs> That's a good way to end it. Moo. Moo. It's all one cow. Um, oh, I, I know this is something that I'm so sorry. I wanted to do it before this. Thank you to everyone that has followed along on the YouTube, um, on texts, 
calls, friends and family, trail angels, um, volunteers, trail associations, the list goes on and on. Um, I'm going to have to just personally end up sending thank yous via text or message to, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> it's going to be a lot. So, um, yeah. what I'm trying to say is thank you. There's a lot of appreciation and love and thanks for not only the North country trail, we finished this one, but all the trail systems that we've done, um, both Magpie and I, and each one is special. It's connected into itself. And Magpie's like, why are you rambling? It's just kind of what I do. Um, I kind of ramble. I got patience for your rambles. Oh, so. But I know that there's food rating for me. There is food rating. Um, that's the big thing. Um, life is a cow. That's the first big thing. I don't know. They're tied. Life is a cow is a big thing. And then the second big thing where they're tied is a lot of thanks. A lot of thanks and appreciation and love for everyone I listed and everyone that is for some reason not hitting my mind right now there's everyone who made this possible everyone who made all of this possible like the community around these trail systems just the trails themselves and while we sign out so we can go eat and life is a cow and there's a big moo guess who made it to the terminus baby huh <laughs> no yeah no if i walk that way that means i'm done the trail if i walk that way i'm still on the trail i'm still on the trail haha <laughs> okay guess who made it huh <laughs> yeah mickey Mickey made it. Should I put Mickey into the emblem so for the next through hiker? Yeah, the next as soon crazy as, person's gonna get Mickey fied. As soon as the next person touches the sign, they get the Mickey. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what happened? You blacked out a little bit. Oh, oh I'm a little lightheaded. Mm. We shall see how long that exorcism works for. It better be permanent. All right, love you, baby. I love you too.